the LA DWP service line. Hello, this is Marcus. To better ensure your quality customer service, this call may be monitored and reviewed. Okay. First, can I get your name? Yeah, uh, my name's Brian Frenzy. Um, I uh, entered in uh, on your website um, uh, for today an appointment for someone to come in and turn the power on in my new apartment. And um, uh, it's between the hours of 12 to 2. I could specify that on your website. Yes, I see your name here, sir. You listed the 12 to 2 time block on our website. Yeah, that's right. And um, I, I, I obviously don't want to bust any balls, but it's, it's like 3.30 now, and I'm just wondering what happened, like why no one showed up. Yes, I'm looking at our records here, and a serviceman did stop by earlier today at 7.30 a.m., and there was no one to come open the gate. He waited for the allotted 30 seconds and then left the premises. Okay. All right. Cool. 30 seconds. I, that makes sense. But, I mean, on your website, it said uh, between the hours of 12 to 2 that I could... <laughs> Yes, that is a suggested time, sir. A serviceman can come by at any hour of the day, and there is no one to open a gate, then the appointment has to be rescheduled. Okay, yeah. All right, that that, that does make sense. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but I'm just wondering, so let's say he did show up at 7.30 a.m., which is fine. I mean, I'm at work, but that's fine. Um, why didn't uh, why didn't he call? Because I, I also entered in a phone number on the website. Our servicemen do not carry cell phones and cannot contact you with the gate. You have to be present at the gate for the servicemen to come in. Duh. That makes perfect sense. Because... Uh, because they can't make calls while they're driving, so... No, we just don't issue cell phones to our servicemen. It's company policy. Oh, double duh. Because of the economy. So, times are tight. You gotta tighten purse strings somewhere. Exactly, sir. Yeah. Okay. Well... <laughs> listen, you've, um... You've been a super de duper, tremendous help, Marcus. You've been awesome. Um, I don't want to be one of those guys who calls up all angry because he doesn't understand like what a rough gig you guys have fielding calls from angry people all the time. So uh, let's just chalk this up to a huge mistake on my part, and let's just resolve to get this thing taken care of. Let's put this thing to bed. Would you like to reschedule an appointment? Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you. Our next available appointment is 23 days from now. Would you like a technician to come by at 12 to 2 again? Uh, 23 days, that's soon. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, 12 to 2 uh, would be great. Uh, absolutely. In fact, ac actually, you know what? I can wait outside the gate with a bowl of fruit and like a bottle of water, whatever that guy needs, because my dad was an electrician for 20 years, and I know what a, a, a rough workaday gig it is to do that. So, whatever that guy needs, I'm willing to take care of it. Okay, so 12 to 2, four Thursdays from now. Actually, uh, and you know what's funny, Marcus, is um, this building I'm living in is has been around since the 1920s. That's interesting, sir. Yeah, um, and uh, it's kind of funny to, I mean, this is so weird. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't know you, Marcus, um, but I'm just going to say it anyway. It's kind of fun to pretend that, like, while I'm still here in an old building that's been around since the 1920s with no electricity yet, that um, it's just fun to pretend that, like, I'm living during the Great Depression and my dad just jumped out of a high-rise Wall Street building because the stock market just crashed and my mom had to sell her body into sexual slavery just to make ends meet and there's a donkey grazing on the grass somewhere for some weird reason and bankers are knocking on the front gate trying to get in and repossess the house but they're not going to get in because I'm not going to come to the gate because cell phones haven't been fucking invented yet <laughs> and uh, neither actually has an efficient method of providing electricity to paying citizens who demand a, uh, uh, a website that actually works when you enter in a specific time frame <laughs> Of course, those bankers aren't going to just wait by the gate for 30 seconds. No, sir, they're go-getters. They're going to hop over that fence, walk right up to my house, and stamp a post no bills sign on the front door because that's fucking customer service, you automaton-sounding piece of shit. I thought you said your father was an electrician. Fuck!